Now let's look at putting these graphing techniques together. I've got this function right here, the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 1. Who is the main function? Who's in charge here? And don't say Tony Danza. He's not the boss. It's the square. This square tells me that my shape looks like what? My shape looks like a parabola. Now, what have I done to the shape? Up one and two to right two. It doesn't matter what this guy is out here. If this is a square, if it's a cube, a fifth, square root, the sine, a cosine, it doesn't matter what your function is. Whatever is inside, you do the opposite of what you see horizontally, right? I hod over. Inside, horizontal, opposite. I see negative 2, which means I'll do what? I will go to the right two units. So you don't have to square it, even though it's in there? The squaring is just telling you how your how the shape is going to go. Okay. Right. But it's but it it is easy, but you have to break from the thought of I want the square to affect this guy. You gotta stop from wanting to do the math. Okay. You just need to see the math, just draw the picture. Don't do the math, draw the picture. You're not right, you're not doing the math yet. What does this plus one mean? The plus one is outside I don't know, over Outside, vertical, exactly what you see. I see plus one, which means you do what? I will go up one. Now, when I say right to up one, that is determining your vertex. What is? What are the coordinates for your vertex? Right to up one gives you two one. Now, this is what I'm going to do, just so you guys are with me here. The original parabola has these key points. Now, I'm sorry if I'm not slowing down to do these because, well, I've already done this. So you get your basic shape right here. What I'm doing here is I'm just shifting this according to what I have here. So I'm going to move it to its new location, which is to the right two and up one. So this is my vertex. You guys with me? That means you take every point that you see on the parabola and you're going to do what with it? Over, up. That's it. What you do is you're going to go over, up. Okay? <laughs> so, again, this is what I like to do. If you've been in my class, I like to draw like a new set of axes here. So, this is my 0, 1, 2, 3. I just count these guys off. And this is the reason I write the 1, 2, 3, and so on. Because I go back to my function now. My function is the squaring function. Now this is where I do the algebra. What's 1 squared? One. Which means from that new horizontal line that I drew, I'm going to be up 1 unit. What's 2 squared? Four. 4, so I'm up 4 units from this guy. What's 3 squared? Nine. 9, which means I'm off the graph a little bit somewhere up here. Do you all agree? We have an axis of symmetry, so use it. I don't want to have to do the math again. So we'll reflect these points across that guy. And I just connect these dots. Remember, you are to make a nice, smooth curve. The parabola does not have a point. It's not a blade where it's going to slice you. It's a nice, smooth curve. Okay, this is how you graph it. And let me, just so you guys know that I'm not playing here. Wow, Mr. Craig, that's the exact same thing that your computer graphed for you. That's pretty swell. Oh. <laughs> but let me tell you what the square root function doesn't look like. When you graph the parabola, it does not do this. Here's my vertex. What's wrong with that? It's a circle. It's a, okay. It's almost what looks like your circle. <laughs> this is so not almost a circle. But notice, if I do this, what have I just done? It's not a function. If I have something that's in function notation, it better pass what? The vertical line test, or you're wrong. What? The pencil test. The, yes, the rolling pencil test. If I roll a pencil, I can only go through at most one point, right? 
Yeah, you guys can see, look, I'm going to roll it. It only hits one point, right? What about this one on the bottom? Oh, see, it fails. Fail, 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 fail. Maybe you can use a toothpick test. That would work too. I, I, know, I, know, I know some of you, where you're from, you, you probably already have a toothpick at the corner of your mouth, so you just roll that across. Hey. Speaking from experience there, uh, that remark. Okay, now, this, this is bad. Let me show you what else is bad. Oh, you know what? I was just playing. I just play. You know, you know. Is that a parabola? That most definitely fails the vertical line test. Parabolas do not go vertical. Functions do not go vertical. Failure. 